Woohoo, back out on the trail. Now this is going to be a really challenging shot. Reckon I can get some um, steep downhill practice, put the target somewhere in there in the bush. It's a bit of a mission getting back up, but it's in there now, let's try a few shots. We sort of have a trail through here somewhere, but as you can see, it's a little bit steep and tricky. Oh yeah, I can get a nice long shot through there. Maybe kneeling, maybe a 20 yard shot at a hanging target. <laughs> and I'm kneeling because there's about four foot of height under these trees. So I said I can get this one with three arrows. Oh, so I can get my arrows back without falling down and killing myself. And we can get some um, long uphill and downhill shots a little bit more in the clear where those um, dead punga are. I'm going to be brave and just sort of toss this target, see where it lands, and then I'm going to end up with a steep downhill shot. Here we go. Okay, it's going to be a very long <laughs> downhill shot. Is it ever going to stop? All right, I'm not doing an 80 meter shot. Whoa, it keeps rolling and rolling. <laughs> All right, there we are. So I am actually gonna walk down a bit or I'll never make that. So one of the discussions I've had with a number of friends who hunt, um, particularly traditional archers is, you know, what's the sort of maximum distance you can hunt at? I mean, yeah, yeah I can shoot an arrow at 30 meters and hit a target, 40 centimeter target. But that's when I've got plenty of time to line it up a nice level ground. When you're out hunting, it's not a question of will I hit the target, you absolutely have to hit the target. I will not take a hunting shot over 20 meters. Because I know at 20 meters, I can at least hit a 15 centimeter target. But having said all of that, it is good fun to practice long shots just to see how good you are. Right, now that's got to be about 30 meters away. So let's and um, let's see how it goes. <laughs> well, okay, if it was an animal, I'd have got it at 30 meters, but it's really not the sort of shot you want to be taking. And it's not the sort of shot I would ever take, even though I can make it, because I'll make it maybe 60% of the time, maybe if I'm lucky. So let's go a few, few steps forward. Let's keep the terrain rugged. Ah! <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Right. So now we've got another steep downhill shot for arrow number two. And just under. All right, let's try again. Yep, nice shot. All right, let's go forward a little bit. And now one of the other challenges that I like to do, I don't know if you know this, but in my quiver, I've actually got three different sets of arrows. These are sort of my, my leftover training arrows. So the ones I've just shot are actually quite the, the heavy ones. I'm now gonna actually shoot my, um, the remnants of my lighter competition arrow. And somehow in my head, I've got to really adjust the different arrows. So these ones fly a little bit higher but because I'm instinctive shooting, it's essentially, it's a, it's a flat trajectory here, so it shouldn't make too much difference, or at least that's what I'm hoping. 
So the fact these these arrows here are about to shoot now about a hundred grains lighter. You know, most compounders would be having a hissy fit if they tried this. Yeah, a little bit right, but the height's good. So if I was hunting, I've got it with um, three out of four arrows. Swing around a bit more in the bush. That's be a little bit challenging, maybe try a kneeling shot. All right. Okay. So this is the sort of shot you often get when I'm goat hunting, where you go, you're in the cover, animals out grazing. Yips, you got some twigs in the way. I'm actually sitting on my ass sliding down the hill. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to shoot through those branches, but hey, the only way to find out is to try it in training. Branch behind me. <laughs> the shot was good, but I've hit this with my arm and slipped down the bank. Oh. So from here, this is great. This is the sort of range I like to be in for about 15 yards now. And I haven't hit it at about 30 meters. I'll probably miss it on this close one. Yep, be high, but it's in. All right. I guess it's more of the same because we're almost home. Just toss it down the hill and see where it goes and get shooting. Okay. So I'm guessing that's about just shy of 30 meters. So if that was... Ooh, just on there. Okay, we're now at 20 meters, which I would say is my normal max distance for hunting. And I've got my lightweight arrows here. So let's see where we go. So I haven't said I can shoot, but i not miss this one. Yeah, oh, that's good. Yep, two for two. I reckon I might be able to get one last shot in without um, getting the arrow skidding off and hitting the horse. Hmm. I see anything? Oh, yep. There it is. Right. <laughs> now that is a really ugly one. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm 25 meters downhill. And I'm right in the middle of a bush next to the fence. Oh, here we go. Aha! Good stuff! Right. Now my lightweight competition arrows. Really got to roll the hips in to get... Make sure I maintain that T section when I'm firing. Oh, that is nice. That's actually on the on the seam between the two halves. All right. Try again. Third arrow. Let me sort of roll the hips back, get my body over, so I can attain a nice form. Right. That is very pleasing. Okay. So that's not bad for a, you know maybe a 30, 40 degree downhill shot. Okay, so what I was talking about by um, trying to roll your hips backwards with the steep downhill shots. If you're um, shooting level, you want to maintain that nice um, C position. But if you're going downhill and you don't ro roll your hips, you're sort of doing this and you no longer got the T. So to get the T, you want to roll the hips back and lean forward. Right. Um, if I don't do that, what happens is the arrow will inevitably go high because you're sort of pulling the back of the arrow up with the shot because you're not releasing in line with it. Okay. So 
that's the sort of typical um, field shoot I do around the property here. Nice sunny day, light wind, ideal for getting out. So these sort of field targets are really useful. You can just toss them around, hang them about somewhere. Really good practice for doing some of that unmarked shooting. Yeah, I mean, something this size, the, um, the circle is really about the same size as the kill zone on an animal if you're practicing for hunting or you know a 3d target so whatever distance you're shooting at you really want to make sure that you're at least at least hitting the thing and hopefully i'm um, putting one in the kill zone so i hope you enjoyed that that's uh, me shooting traditional grosier recurve in new zealand